But okay. N now, very recent international comparisons uh, have uh, made clear that there are some uh, uh, weaknesses in uh, uh, achievement. Achievement is, uh, um, and uh, these problems we, we uh, uh, particularly noticed uh, among boys. And uh, um, if you look the international uh, comparison studies and uh, divide them so, uh, the, the very recent ones, that there are only girls from different countries are included, then uh, um, uh, the, F the Finnish girls are uh, on, on the same level than, uh, than girls from Singapore or, or, uh, uh, mm, uh, or Hong Kong, uh, uh, Korea, not um, South, South Korea, but, uh, or Japan <laughs> in mathematics. But, uh, but then if uh, we look at the boys, something strange has happened, happened among, among the, the boys. Uh, and uh, earlier it was clear that boys had uh, higher achievement than girls. Then uh, they were on the same level, and now girls have, even in mathematics and science, a little bit better achievement than boys. In, in uh, reading, it was, uh, of course, opposite in, in Finland and many other countries, that uh, girls always have been much better in, in uh, reading and, uh, and writing than, uh, than boys. But uh, this, this was... Uh, this has been a kind of alarming uh, situation, what is happening there. Um, but the problem in mathematics, and I now move to uh, mathematics, was in fact already vi uh, visible in uh, uh, national uh, service and, and these national evaluation studies and, and also uh, the more focused uh, studies, for example, of our own, own research group. Uh, uh, far before this uh, um, this uh, change happened to uh, started to happen in, in PISA, PISA studies or, or uh, some other international comparison studies. And uh, first, uh, there was a decrease in motivation of mathematics. And then, even though students still were uh, relatively good in problem solving, but then we, when we looked at the, the conceptual understanding, that that was not on the level that then would guarantee that also in future they, uh, they would uh, uh, learn uh, mathematics in the, in the relevant, relevant way. So uh, all this um, was known already before these uh, uh, changes in the uh, international comparison studies uh, 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 did so some, some changes of of uh, Finnish, Finnish students. Uh, now, I, I don't uh, go so much to this boy question. This, uh, uh, in this general uh, um, uh, lecture about the Finnish educational system, I was particularly discussing that because this seems to be a more broader societal uh, question. And schools, uh, they have nothing happened in the schools which has caused it. But uh, it, it, there are general changes in the society, and then the schools have not yet been able to react to that in the, in the adequate, adequate uh, way. But I, I go to, to mathematics. And one of the findings was that, uh, in, in our local studies, that uh, when uh, children come to uh, to the primary school, they uh, there are all, uh, already uh, very big differences in the mathematical thinking, in this kind of uh, very early mathematical skills, and uh, um, that's of course the same also in reading. But then when we we follow what happens in reading uh, skills, when school starts then the uh, differences, achievement differences, decrease. But in the mathematics, it's uh, on the opposite. The, in the mathematics, these relatively big differences which are uh, when the children come to the school, they increased. And uh, because of that, we're thinking that now it's very important to focus uh, to that question, that what, what happens before uh, students come to the school? 
And then the other thing was the, uh, the motivation. Uh, um, these studies, uh, these domestic studies, did so that that uh, somehow students were uh, mm, uh, considering mathematics some, um, as something completely isolated, so that it's not related to anything. And because it's not related to anything, they were not uh, uh, most. Uh, uh, qu quite many of them were not motivated to study uh, study mathematics. So that uh, some, somehow this kind of natural mm, numerical thinking, what uh, children already have uh, mm, before school age, uh, uh, didn't continue in in uh, early uh, in the, in the beginning of primary school. But uh, mathematics became this kind of isolated things, and this was the starting point for for our uh, um, uh, the di different aspects of our uh, uh, studies on long-term development of number concept. And uh, they were clearly based on these findings on, on, the, on the system. But uh, maybe before I go to that, do you have uh, now questions or comments which are related to this general part of, of the educational system? Maybe it's... Uh, better to have, have to, uh, because you remember better what I have been <laughs> telling, telling, and now you, you could uh, ask questions or comments about it. Um, for teachers teaching special ed? Uh, yes, special yes, teaching. yes. Special education teachers have, uh, they, um, um, it is a part of the same teacher education model, but then, uh, then uh, during, um, there, there are three different trajectories to special education, but, but um, this, is a, this is a separate qualification, so that typically the teachers have, they have the, yes, they have a, a, a kind of double qualification. They have a qualification as a primary school teachers and a special education teacher, or they have qualification as... Do you have to um, stay in university longer? Um, so it can be organized also, also without, uh, within the uh, degree that it's not necessary uh, very much longer. Mm -hmm. uh, in reality, it's a little bit, uh, bit longer, uh, longer uh, studies if they also have the yeah, special education. How specialized are they? Are they specialized in, for example, uh, are some teachers specialized in teaching deaf children while um, others um, specialized in um, Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. This happens so that uh, this uh, 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 teachers teaching the uh, uh, students with serious uh, disabilities, deaf and blind children, they they have uh, a very focused education, and then there is the kind of gen general special education focusing on on uh, reading difficulties, mathematical difficulties, behavioral difficulties, and, and so this is more kind of uh, unified, unified uh, kind of expertise what they, they should have. I have another yes. um, question. So, um, so you said um, part-time teachers, you know, help full-time yes. teachers work. Well, they're, they're not part-time teachers, but it's, that is part-time uh, special education. The, the teacher was, is, was a full-time teacher, but the students are part-time in special education. Most of the time they are in the regular classroom, and then uh, a short time they are in the special okay. education. Oh, so students yeah. are part-time? Students, they, 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 yes. It was, it, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry if I was unclear in, in describing that. Okay. So there are no concept of part-time part teachers that um, just you know, help um, a particular group of children? Um, mm, no, basically uh, all the teachers are full, full time uh, teachers and then in, in primary and secondary, lower secondary, upper secondary level. And then uh, uh, maybe in, in upper secondary level there are some very specific topics where we need only a little bit teaching and there we have part time teachers. Uh, but, uh, but then these uh, helping pe uh, people, uh, they, some of them work full time in school, some some part time. 
they are typically um, people who want to become a teacher. They have graduated from high school and then they uh, work one, one or two years as a helping uh, workforce in, in, in the classroom, helping the, the classroom teacher.